already. So please advise about nail polish and comfort soda. Where did this come from? The halal nail polish. You know, the, unless you really dig into the reasons of things, you're not going to understand it. So how many Muslims are in the world? Just give me a number. 1.7 billion? 60% of them are women. That's how it is. How many, how many now? 60% of 1.6 billion. Say 50% are young. You're talking about at least 100 million, if not more. So if I'm going to come and sell you a halal nail polish, how much money I made? Do I care about your salah? Do I care about your relationship with Allah? Why do I fall in this trap? One. Two. Why do you put a nail polish? Anyone answer me. And that includes when you are during the monthly period. Because when I see this, I was like, you didn't understand what Allah said. What is, why do we put a nail polish? Come on, we're all women. What? Exactly, to look beautiful. It's very nice. And why do you put makeup? I'm coming to it. Why do I put makeup? Why do I put makeup? Young and old, why? Why, why? I want to hear it. Exactly. I want to look beautiful, right? And makeup makes me look beautiful. Show my beauty or increase my beauty. Is that haram or halal? Just a second. Allah says, not, he didn't say cover. He said, don't show your beauty. Don't. لا يبدين زينتهم Allah said in Surah An-Nur Don't show your beauty. So whether it is my cycle and I don't Allah gave me the permission not to pray and I'm putting the nail polish whether it is the quote-unquote halal nail polish I am disobeying Allah. Period. Period. Or, or putting makeup or wearing tight and let alone coming to the masjid. Wallah, I keep saying this and I've said this many times in this talk. Yani, Allah is Rahim. If Allah was not Rahim, I have no idea what will happen to us. Allah was not Rahim. If Allah will take people accountable to what they are doing, he will not have left anything moving on this earth. He said it twice in the Quran. I, unless we know the, the, the real meaning of the deen, it's our problem. Men and women, but I'm talking to women. We don't know that why he said that. What is the hikmah? What is the wisdom? It's not just don't do or do. It's why. So when I say, he said, don't show your beauty, fine. Before you leave the house, stand in front of that mirror, which we all do, and ask yourself one question. He's looking at me. He is looking at me. Is that how he wants me to leave? Is that what he said? A new answer, a new do. Period. Includes makeup. Include tight clothes, include nail polish, include perfume in the masjid. All this goes under beauty. And we are, why do we cover our hair? Why the hair? Because it's the most beautiful thing in the woman. Why you don't show the detail of the body? Because it's the most beautiful thing in the woman, period. You want to twist it, you want to go around it, do whatever you want. You know what I say to people? Just make sure you have a good excuse when you're standing in front of him and he's going to ask you. Is he going to ask me? Of course he will. Right? Hasib mi hisaban yaseer, oh ya Allah, please. Make it easy on me. He's going to ask me, why did you do that? Why didn't you cover your hair? Why pleasing people were more important than me? You better have a good reason. Period. 
If you think this way, if you think it is about you and him, everything becomes easy. I don't care what people do that, there. I don't care what people does in college, what people does in the school, what people does in, even in the masjid. I don't because I am going to be alone in this private one-to-one -one interview. And each one of us will have that. And I have to be ready.